Hello everyone, this is Jia, and this will likely be the last video in unlearning a toxic art education. I've already spoken at length about certain things that you may have experienced in your art education that shouldn't be accepted. So now I'll actually be going to the video series title itself, which is Unlearning a Toxic Art Education. If my mind somehow flashbacks to any more things that happened to me in my art education that I don't think should be accepted, I'll talk more about it again in different in more different videos. But now let's get into the solution for all of these problems. Here are 5 tips on how to creatively create again. The first tip is actually to become a child again. And by that I mean you have seen children who create art, they don't care, you know, if it's wrong or right, they just create, they just go full into it, they have no so-called shame, they just have no concept of mistakes, they just really put their heart and soul into it and they're really proud of it still. And you do this by getting a clothing or an item to wear that signifies that you are allowed to make mistakes or that to signify that you know you're like a child again. You wear like an oversized shirt, you wear like a hat or something that tells you that okay this is the my mistake hat that I can wear and whenever I wear it I can make whatever mistake I want, it's okay, there's no judgement. I can draw whatever I want, I can practice whatever I want. But as long as I wear this hat, this means that you know, I am free from the, ju the over overwhelming judgement I might have that I put on myself or other, other people have placed on me and therefore I continue to place on myself. Having that physical object on your person that makes you go like, okay, I'm wearing this, it means that I can do whatever silly drawings I want, whatever really like all the lecturers will say is stupid, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's really freeing and I think you should try that and I think you will be able to create a lot more just by going back to that stage where, you know, judgement doesn't exist for you. The second tip is to start with one minute of drawing a day and slowly increase this minute. And, I'm, and I really do mean one minute because one minute in the end is better than zero. And if you can just do one minute and then stop, it's fine. You don't have to push yourself past that one minute. If you feel like, oh, I really don't feel like it. I'm really so, you know, traumatized and so affected that I don't want to draw anymore. One minute of drawing or creating a day, just slowly, you know, get used, get get back into the motion. Stop at one minute if you want. Next day, do two minutes. Next day, do three minutes. Next day, do four minutes. It's perfectly fine. Just always remember, one is better than zero. It's better than not doing anything at all. So let yourself have that one minute just to doodle, just to get back into creating again, right? Just get back into it. Number three would be to unhitch the bad education era from your art journey. And I think therapists are much better at, doing, at helping you do that, but let's say you are like me, you can't afford one. It's basically you unload the baggage from your car. If you're, if you're on your, in a car on your art journey, you're in this car, you're saddled with a, lot, a load of like, you know, uh, traumatizing education and stuff and bad education that you want to let go, you should let it go. The past is the past. Even let's say somehow your, the work you create now somehow lands in front of that, that, that person that you that taught you badly and they criticize it again somehow or like let's say your past comes back to haunt you. It's okay because you can think of it as like that past is past and like that's a, that's a previous life even. You can think of it that way and your new life starts now, your new art journey starts now without any of that baggage. I know it's easier said than done, but I think with the first two tips day by day, you will slowly be able to unload that, that baggage yourself or at least create, create a bigger space around it so that it doesn't feel as big of a problem as it used to be. The fourth tip would be diving deep into creation and also knowing that you don't have to share your works in the sense that I think everybody has this obligation of feeling that I spent a lot of time on this, I need to show it to people but I'm also embarrassed by it, it's not that good, whatever, just make, just know that you can set yourself like a certain number of pieces, a certain amount of time where you draw whatever you want, experiment, create and know that you don't have to show this to anybody. Practice what you want to practice, create what you want to create, but know in the end the works that you do, you don't have to feel obligated to share it just because you created it. I know that as creators, we kind of feel that we need to share the work all the time, become like content creators, artists becoming content creators and sharing the work always like, hey look, I'm, I'm actively doing something, I'm actively, you know, I'm actively working, but you don't really have to as long as you know, you know that you yourself are, are putting in the effort. The last tip that I have is that we all start somewhere, right? We, there are people always say that you always have to start from somewhere. So if we can always start from somewhere, we can always start again. If you started something and you know, you felt that the, you had a really bad time with it, bad journey, bad era, that was really bad. You can always say that's, as I said, that's the past. Start again. Just this is, you can just put your foot down and go, this is a new start. 
kind of connected with point number three. You cannot let the past hold you back and pull you down. You have to start again. And I don't want to put myself as like a figure of authority to say that I give you permission to do so, but know that I believe in you and that I know that you can start over if you're listening to this and that you think that, oh, I'm, I'm, I don't want to do it anymore. I don't create anymore. Hopefully, I hope that you can find that spark again and create again. If you want to see more art, design, storytelling videos and stuff like that, I have all of that on my channel. So if you like what you just watched, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep creating!